Hi everyone, in this video, I'll be talking about a concept or a terminology which is being quite used in the IT environments or Citrix environments, which is downtime. So what exactly is downtime? So let's say we are working in the Citrix environment and we have around 500 servers, okay? So once in a while, we need to do some software updates or we need to do some patching on this servers, okay? Security updates or patching or any other maintenance activity on this service. So, so whenever we do the patching activity or whenever we do the, whenever we do the security updates or any other maintenance activity, we need to have downtime because we are going to uh, install the patches and we need to restart the machines, okay? We need to restart the machine. So there will be some uh, interruption of the service. There will be some interruption of the service that is called downtime, okay? So during downtime, the server or the service will be unavailable because we are doing some maintenance activity. So if we are working in Citrix environment and if we are performing some security updates or patches on the servers, we need to get the downtime, okay? We need to get the downtime. Wh whoever is a server owner, we should tell that, okay, we are going to do some patch update or security update and we need to get the downtime first. So once we get the approval, once we get the approval, we are going to start the activity. So mostly all the maintenance activities will be performed over the weekend, over the weekend or during the holidays time so that many users will not be, uh, you know, accessing those applications or services. So whenever you work in the Citrix environment or IT environment, if someone says, give me downtime, it means that they want to do some maintenance activity on the server. So you need to, if you are, if you are the application owner or the server owner, you need to give the permission. Okay, let's say if the server is in hung state, if the server is in hung state, Okay, so if someone is asking downtime, it means that the server is in hung state. Now, as a server owner, you need to give the permission to them so that they can do some troubleshooting and restart the server or, you know, to make the server back online. So this is downtime. So uh, during critical maintenance activities or patching activities, downtime is the most common term that is being used. So whenever someone contacts you and says we need downtime, it means that they want to do the maintenance activity. They need to restart the server. The service will be unavailable. So whenever you perform these maintenance activities, whenever you have the downtime, make sure that the other servers are available. Let's say there are 100 servers. Okay, you, you should not restart all servers at the same time. Okay, first uh, you know, restart 20 servers and then later 20 servers. So after that 20 servers. So do it one after the other so that whenever the maintenance activity is happening on some servers, the other servers will be available to serve the traffic and to give it to the users. So, uh, so downtime needs to be given and we need to have the uh, proper steps. We need to have the proper steps to do these maintenance, maintenance activities so that you know, other users will not be impacted. Other users will not be impacted. We need to make sure that when you give the downtime and when, you know, the servers are getting updated or restarted, the other server should be available so that users can still access it. Okay, this, so this is the most common terminology that we use in the Citrix environment or any IT environment. Okay, so this is the concept that I wanted to share. So I really hope you find this information helpful. Thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.